What is good everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we are trading my most expensive sneaker, the Yeezy 2 Solars right here for a sneaker mystery box containing new and used sneakers. Now this is coming from Cool Kicks LA. They're a sneaker store out in LA and a lot of your favorite YouTubers have probably done videos there where they do some sort of shopping. Well, they were looking for YouTubers to collaborate with around the same time that I bought this sneaker. So this is from a video called buying the most expensive sneaker in my city and this is what I ended up with. This is a size 10 in the Yeezy 2 Solar, one of my favorite Nike Yeezys that have ever come out. I know I could keep these, but this is a very fragile shoe. It's a very sought after shoe. So I thought I'll buy these and have about $2,500 to maybe $3,500 in trade value or like what I could use to trade towards something else. And I thought, why not go ahead for content, trade it for something like a mystery box. So Cool Kicks decided they wanted to do that because they were looking for YouTubers to work with. So we decided to go ahead and do this. If you guys can't tell, we are in a new sneaker setup as well. So this will actually help to kind of fuel the new sneaker setup. So what we have to do now is go ahead and take the sneaker right here, pack them up, ship them off to Cool Kicks and they'll be shipping off a mystery box as well so we'll have to wait a few days for that so let's go ahead pack these boys up but first we have a giveaway these supreme vans right here are being given away size 10 and a half something for about 400 to 450 bucks all you have to do for that is subscribe to the channel comment down below and follow me on instagram we're going to be using the link in the description to track that but after this giveaway we're going to be doing a big giveaway next and we're going to be doing it a little bit different but if you want to enter that giveaway go ahead and do it down below one more day i think when the video goes up to go ahead and win these shoes so let's go ahead pack these bad boys up they're so beautiful i'm sad that they're going but this is something i wouldn't wear too much because they're such a fragile shoe so let's go ahead He's up. As y'all can see, I had a mystery box here called the Cool Box. So we teamed up with a YouTuber out there called Harrison. Well, I think he's from Atlanta. He's a hype beast, he's a sneaker, a sneaker head. So what we're doing is right now we're doing an exchange, a mystery trade. Well, it's not really a mystery. It's a mystery on our end, but not for his end. He's giving us a pair of Nike Solar um, Yeezys. It's pretty. It's not too worn. It's probably like a nine out of ten. So we're giving him a three thousand dollar budget. We're giving three thousand for dollars for the shoe. In return, we're giving him three thousand dollars in X amount of shoes. So he doesn't know what we're giving him, but I want to show y'all behind the scenes of what he's getting. This is what he's getting right now. I'm throwing him a pair of DS size 11 he told me he wears a nine, 10 and a half to 11 and a half so so we're giving him a size 11 ds pair of bread for we're giving him a pair of size 11 big bang phone so far so good There's a lot of hype in this so y'all comment below let me know if y'all think it was worth it this is called the cool box supposed to be a trade for nike pair of solar's use which is probably worth like 2500 so this is basically around 2500 to 3000 dollars worth of mystery box hope you enjoy it out there in atlanta thank you guys for all the constant support Here. This is a lot bigger than I expected, so I'm excited to see what we got in here. I think we're gonna do it standing because this box is so massive. If I had to guess, there's probably seven pairs of sneakers here, but uh, let's go ahead and see what we got. All right, guys, so we're gonna go ahead, open it up, see what we got. We got the samurai knife, which actually sucks as a knife, but they asked me if I wanted to do like more hype sneakers, like bigger sneakers, and I told him I wanted to do kind of a mix, and he says it's gonna be new, used, so pretty excited to see what we got because I wanna fill this new sneaker setup up. If you guys didn't see that last video where we created this new budget IKEA setup, so let's go ahead, open it up right here, cut open the uh, details, see what we got. And hopefully, I think I showed you guys a clip. They were uh, they recorded them boxing it up. So you guys might know a little bit of what's in here. Let's go ahead and see. I'm gonna show you guys a sneak preview before I get to see it. So check this out right here. How we looking, how we looking. All right, let's go ahead. Now I'm gonna go one by one, pick these out. And hopefully, we got some flames. So first thing up, we got, feels like a box right here. Why can't I like get my hand on this? I, I literally can't get my hand on this. Uh, okay, I got a pair here. We have a pair of Jordan 4s right here. These are the Jordan 4 breads. These actually just recently came out and I did not get these. These are like $260 as far as resale value goes because I've been looking at them, deciding if I want to make a pair. These are actually really clean of a sneaker. I like the silhouette of a four, you guys know, but these, I just didn't know if I would end up wearing them if they would just sit on my wall, but I actually really like these. It's a pretty decent sneaker right there. Colorways clean 
thing. Got the Nike Air on the back. These are like $260 resale value right now. I thought they were gonna go a little bit crazier, but nothing too nuts. Very clean pair of sneakers right there. I do love the fours, you guys know that. I need to wear them more, so maybe I'll actually try to put some fits together with those. So let's go ahead and next, see what we got. It feels like there's some sneakers that are like out, like not in a box. This feels like a like a Kobe. Like, you know those uh Kobe high tops? Go for these up. We have a <laughs> <gasps> Bro, I literally was about to buy these. I'm going to New York in like two weeks and I was gonna do a video there and buy these sneakers, but <laughs> <gasps> Bruh, this is like what to me. This is one of the rarest off-white Jordans I have not seen a real pair of these in person ever maybe in like a glass case or something But I've never seen a real pair of these and they're used so guilt-free wearing from here right there Bruh, I hope the other ones in here, please. Yes, we have the other pair in here. Oh my gosh I'm so hyped on these. Oh, they have an extra pair of laces right here, too Man, this material is so crazy. This is going to be the perfect summer shoe. I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna put the right one on on so you guys can see i'm so excited to wear these oh my i literally was about oh, they fit to what size are these these are a can't see the size oh size 10 and a half so they might, i thought they'd be a little bit big but they actually fit i'm telling you if there's one other sneaker that i would want in a box it would be these these are like reselling at most stores like 1900 i don't know how much i got for stock x new but obviously they're used which makes it easier for me to wear them so i'm so hyped on these this is literally the perfect summer shoe. Go on some like orange socks or something. Oh, bro, cool kicks. I, that was the last thing that I was expecting in this box. Honestly, the last thing I was expecting. Just because I've never had any of that in any sort of box or anything like that. You guys can see it says right on the left shoe and it says left on the right shoe. Man, those gotta be worth at least what, they have no box, thousand bucks maybe. And I love that sneaker. I'm gas. Like that just made the box for me. I know I would. I'm gonna wear these more than I wear those Yeezy too. So let's see. We have a box here. Let's pull these out. We have a Nike Air Force box in this size ten. This is the PRM JDI. Ah, okay. We have a pair of Air Force Ones that are pretty beat. If you can see right there, those are pretty worn. I don't know if these are worn like a festival or something. We have a receipt from Cinnabon from Culver City Mall in California. So I guess when they're buying these sneakers, they bought a Cinnabon for five bucks. I I don't know why that receipt's in there. You got a Nike Just Do It sneaker sticker right there. And then I guess the napkin from Cinnabon. That's disgusting. These right here, I don't think these really sold out. But the leather quality is pretty nice. I would say these are probably 80 bucks. Really? 130 is the retail value. So pretty cool sneaker though. Like those Air Force Ones. It's a nice beater sneaker to wear. Let's go ahead and see what else we got. Three pairs so far. Let's see. We got some more boxes. I'm just gonna keep going. Ooh, we have a big box here. This feels like this is a big, this could be a, ooh, this could be a Yeezy box. Let's pull this out. We have a, yes, we have a Yeezy 700 in the Inertia colorway. This was like one of the more hype 700s that more recently came out. You guys can see right there the Inertia. These are brand new dead stock. If you guys didn't see that video, I actually got these for retail when they came out. There's a bit of a line, but they didn't end up reselling too much like people thought they would. The colorway is just a little hard for me. It's just like, it's not gray, but it's like gray, but it's blue. It's a weird colorway. So I think these are probably reselling for about 350 if I had to guess. Not too crazy, but four pair. That's a solid lineup right there. I really like these two on the front. Let's go ahead and see what else we got. Another, all right, we got a box that's like falling apart ah, this is a what is this this is a air foam posit size 11 and a half team orange dark gray black 230 retail Ooh, like a galaxy colorway look at that i had the actual galaxy foams that have like the uh, white clear bottom a few weeks ago this is a little bit different though these are a little used a little bit of mud on the bottom nothing too crazy some rocks and some mud but this is crazy i don't even know what these are called i'm gonna have to look these up so these are called the big bangs and they're going for about 500 dollars resale new or used are going for about 500 dollars. so that's not bad at all probably like 480 to 500 resale that's pretty good right there i guess i could see why they're called the big bang and the uh galaxy phones phone posits i don't really wear I, i've never been one to wear phone posits a little bit big i don't feel like they're like that hype of a shoe right now so cool shoe though 500 bucks resale go ahead and pull this next pair out we have a pair of jordan sixes in a size 10 and a half and this is a jordan six Ooh, the infrared sixes this is the older one from like some 14 maybe yeah, i think these came out in 2014 this is that infrared that is like the neon pink where people were like kind of upset that it wasn't like actual red but it looks more pink you got that nice out so these are uh these are used for sure nice little used pair right there i don't wear sixes too much maybe i should but they're a little bit puffy up here on the ankles and that's something that looks really good on me so we're at six pairs of sneakers so far which is actually pretty pretty decent so let's keep going i don't see anything in there we have another pair of like shoes that don't have a box have a pair Ooh, jordan twos i've never owned a pair of jordan twos. these are the i think they're called the mellow jordan twos jordan twos are clean they look like kind of like a I'm wearing, like dressed up a little bit but i just looked these up and they're going for about 
$160 new, so you these are a little bit used. I don't think they've got too much resale value. I think we have the other one here. Oh, nope, we have a Jordan 3 bread right there. Wow, so another loose sneaker. These are used as well. Threes, I'm, I need to try to wear threes. I never wear threes just because I just think they're a little bit too puffy for me, but maybe I should. So the other bread right here, got the Nike Air on the back. I'm trying to see if we have that other two. Okay, there it is. There's the other two right there. Jordan 2 Mellows, pretty cool sneaker right there. I'm not a big fan of twos, so I just never really have any. Feel another box here. What else? God, there's so many sneakers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight already. And this is a Jordan 1 box, I believe. This is the original one, Richard 1 High, black gold, size 10 and a half. Ah, the Jordan 1 Mellows right here, that gold colorway, as you can see. These are pretty dope sneaker. There's on, there's no laces on this one, but I don't know why they're out of the sneaker. Maybe they're cleaning them or something. Nice clean gold colorway. The outsole is gold as well. These are used. I don't know the re I could not tell you the resale value on these, to be 100% honest. We got nine pairs, so I thought seven. Can't be much more here. Feels like, like, I think there's one more box in here. We got, <laughs> no way. I have not had the Sean Witherspoons for six months now. I sold my pair and then literally, where are they? Two weeks ago, I got these in a mystery box. The Sean Witherspoon Air Max 97 ones. It's such a sick shoe and I was so happy to get them, but these are still new. So it's like kind of hard for me to break them out and undies them because I just wanted to sit on them. But now since we have a second pair, you never know. I'm hyped because I love this sneaker here and I wanted to have it just to have as like a part of my collection. Guess we have a, another one in the size 11, 97 one. Wow, bro. Oh, God, I'm so hyped. They got the extra laces in here. Here too, yeah. All the extra laces, man. These are oh, these are pretty used. You can see creasing on here. Mine were like that when I sold them because I wore them so much, a little bit of creasing. Dang it, I might have to wear these ones and sell the other ones because you know what I'm saying. It's so easy for me to wear a sneaker that is already worn. I don't feel as bad about it, man. Bro, that I think that's it. Yep, that is it. Dang, this is insane. I would say these are recent price seven, eight hundred, seven fifty, maybe two fifty. I don't know on these three hundred. Got like eighty, two sixty. These like a thousand, like five. This is a really nice like spread of sneakers. We got fours, we got sixes, we got twos, we got threes, we got foam posits, witherspoons, we got air forces, Yeezy. Shout out Cool Kicks for making that happen because this is nice. Like I, I literally, the Shaw Witherspoons are the only one that I've actually had besides the inertia. And I'm so excited because I wanted another pair. Mine have just been sitting on the shelf. I want to go ahead and maybe fill up the new uh, sneaker setup with some of these new sneakers. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. got some of this stuff on the new sneaker setup. I'm very excited on how this box turned out. Now I've got a lot more to fill this up, maybe to use for some future videos too. So all right, guys, so I wanted to jump in here real quick because every time I get a big box of like used sneakers, I like to clean them up. And I wanted to show you guys some stuff from Rejuvenator. Now, this is not a paid sponsorship, but I do get a little bit of portion if you use my code Harrison on Rejuvenator. Basically, they sell a ton of shoe cleaning products. If you guys didn't see, I destroyed a pair of off-white UNCs and they came out absolutely perfect, even better than they were before afterwards. And they were like literally destroyed. So I like to share with you guys me doing some Rejuvenator stuff. So I wanted to clean these pairs of sneakers up because I'm probably gonna be putting some on my website soon. Not these, but like some of the Jordan 3s and stuff like that. I want to show you guys what we got. This is the ultimate kit here. This literally has like everything. I just got this, but I want to show you guys maybe a nice little uh, deep clean with some solution. This is what I love about this. So you get the solution pouches right here. So if you ever want to do like one single cleaning of a sneaker, take that. Go in here. They have a foldable pouch. Collapsible bowl is in here. Oh, we got the all purpose. Look at that. Bam. This is the to go kit. If you ever want to have some of your stuff to go, I'm going to put this down. I got to grab some water real quick. It's getting pulled over outside of uh, my apartment right now. And it looks like it's a little intense. They got two cops up on the window shutting down a Street. Camera man will update us if anything happens. So we got the nice little uh, water here. You take the pouch basically, pour this in here. I'm gonna put a little bit in here, a little bit on the brush too. All you gotta do is start it working. So the bottom of these is not bad at all, but I wanna go ahead and just give them a nice clean anyway. So you guys can see, just a, there's not much really there, but I wanna give it a nice little clean because I'm gonna be wearing these now. So go in a circular motion, kind of just take it down.
So after a nice, very simple, clean, look at the difference of that. I could still even go harder on these shoes and look at the difference. How, how dirty this one is and how fresh and clean this one is. It just looks awesome. It's not even fully done yet. Like I could do a full process in these. This is just a nice light one to two minute clean. So I got to do the other one so I don't forget because I've done that before where I forget to clean both. Then I kind of just have one clean one and one dirty one. But if you guys use my code here so you can get 10% off down below on shoefnator.com as well as I get a nice little kickback from that. But you guys get a nice little discount. So check that out down below and I'll wrap up this video. So I think that's gonna wrap it up for the video. If you guys did enjoy, please leave a like down below. I'll see you guys next time. This is Harrison signing out.